Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We're on Season 4, Episode 4. And last time on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., we got the watchdogs coming forward, pretending to, like, spreading propaganda that, they, that the Inhumans are bad people by them blacking out cities and blaming it on an Inhuman. They have some very high-tech stuff, maybe being produced by, I can think of, like, Blake or Ian Quinn or something like that. I'm just thinking Ian Quinn because I feel like he needs to come back at some point, but it's probably not him. I'm just gonna always talk about these old people that haven't come back yet. Right, Blake is still out there. We saw him in the wheelchair, gave the warhead over to, to Hive, basically. Yeah, to Gaiera back in season three. So Blake could still be somewhere. Maybe he's the one giving technology to the watchdogs. That's what it would seem like since he was leading the watchdogs last time we saw the watchdogs. So that could be a thing. Um, we got S.H.I.E.L.D. coming out as being an organization again working in the government. It doesn't seem like the actual director said that he's an inhuman to the public yet. But yeah, maybe he will soon or maybe he already did off screen or something. Anyways, really enjoying the season so far. I want to know more about Ghost Rider's past and how he connects to the Darkhold maybe or that one facility that had all the ghosts in it. So maybe we'll dive into that stuff soon. Anyways, if you're enjoying S.H.I.E.L.D. on the channel or any other thing, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the join button if you want to watch early episodes of Star Wars Rebels or Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And let's hop into the video. Let's go. It's, uh, it's definitely within our price range. Can one really put a dollar amount on the perfect home? Yes, one can. They're looking for a home. This is so cute. It'll be well worth it. I promise. Seems you're spending all your time there lately. Is it? <laughs> I guess so. Trying to figure out a less deadly way to cure our ghost victims. Take lots of pictures. You've got it. Plenty of pictures. Oh, look at them. Yeah, she should just scan this room and implement it into her VR headset that she made. Let Fitz experience it. Hello. I'm here about the apartment. I'm scared. She was mysteriously emailed about this place and Shield is public and maybe her name is public. Um, people could already be getting at Shield. I'm scared. The That's broken. Is anybody here? Why are they looking for an apartment? This should be getting paid more. Oh ho ho, a nicer. <gasps> oh. Sorry. That makes sense. <laughs> It should take so long to. Like, oh my gosh. Uh. Is it because she was touched by Ghost Rider and it's killing her? Is that what Eli, it is? You've got a visitor. Oh, Ghost Rider's uncle. Yeah, they can show their badges now. That's what I said. <laughs> Still a thing. We're making a comeback. There's not much information out there. Think tank working on undisclosed projects. Mm -hmm. And then there's an accident. Accident. I'm curious. Are you saying it was something else? I'm not saying anything. I don't expect you to open up to a suit with a badge. Suits like you is why I'm in here. But there's a chance, if you help me, that I can help you get out of here. Hmm, help him get out. Let me get that for you, Agent May. Apologies. That must have been annoying. Incredibly. Do you know she's a robo? Radcliffe stopped your heart for seven minutes in order to reboot your central nervous system. You did what? Well, <laughs> in order to quell the hyperactivity in your reticular activating system, we had to very carefully, gently, kill you. It all worked out perfectly. Nothing went wrong. Yes, and came back. Killed. By Coulson. Radcliffe. All for a good cause. I feel like Ada's gonna malfunction or her eyeball's just gonna go like, bleh. Like a doll. You've been tracking my search history. Yeah, well, you were always a sucker for a breakfast snook. But don't worry, the place is yours. It's rent controlled now, so. Yeah, that's you nice. You really should not have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, self medicating. <laughs> Those bone restoration pills you've been stealing don't relieve pain. Are you using your arm gauntlets? They don't work perfectly, but we specifically designed them so that they They're not exactly incognito. Stop mothering me. Dang, everything's changed this season. <laughs> The way they treat each other. These are inhuman asset numbers and GPS coordinates. Why do you have these? Snagged them from a group of watchdogs on my way here. Got a bullet for my trouble. They're hacking into shield servers. 
That's how they find their victims. Impossible. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Shield servers are more secure now than they've ever been. They're held offline in protected government. They blacked out cities. To keep out people like me. Yeah, well, they're getting in somehow. I take mandatory lie detection tests. I can't just voluntarily aid a wanted vigilante. What if it wasn't voluntary? Oh. I've missed you too. <laughs> that does change things. <laughs> oh, he's here. They don't know they're related. They don't know they're related. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, maybe you can get info from him. That stick guy. A momentum lab? Yeah. Get in the car. I'm driving. Oh hell no. <laughs> Lola, I knew it. Oh, two cool cars. <laughs> of course, except one can fly. He's gonna look behind him and it's not gonna be there and then it's gonna land in front of him. Uh, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Please be what happens. That'd be so cheesy and funny. Oh, they're about to fly over it. No? Oh, they didn't even really need a duck. Yeah, we'll never catch him, I told you. You should have let me fix the flight functionality in this thing. Don't worry, it's not gonna be a problem this time. It doesn't fly? Or... He is turning around. Are they gone? No. Oh, Quinjet! Oh, wow. <laughs> he could have died. I get his car now, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You've been playing way too much GTA, man. Okay. This is really smart, is making her do it done. against her will. Okay, so we need to. Simmons. Simmons. That was quick. Did she convince her to swap drives? What do you mean? <laughs> What did you even do? I simply told Agent Albie that there was new information on the flash drive and she's going to deliver it with the rest. That should give us access. And how did you get her to agree to that? Well, technically, as S.H.I.E.L.D. Special Advisor in Science and Technology, she works for me. <laughs> Aha! She is the boss. The nervous my eyes would all bug out and I'd lose my breath. <laughs> <laughs> she's out. Why, why, why would she be out? You're right, your eyes do the whole bug out when you get nervous. Why are you not nervous? <laughs> because I let her out. Are you mad? No, I'm just a scientist. This is a, this is a huge <laughs> list. You, you, yeah, you, a mad you, one. She's like basically human at this point. If you pieces, then the most discerning, formidable agent that S.H.I.E.L.D. has to offer. Hello, Fitz. Always nice to see you. Hey, Lo. Um, how, what is, what is, how is everything going in here? So nervous. Still waiting for them to finish the test so I could get the hell out of here. Just assessing any last glitches before we send me on our way. Glitches? He's referring to human brains like that now? I mean, I guess you can, whatever. Just act like everything is normal, Fitz. If they can tap into the data directly, then they have information there on... There has to be someone in S.H.I.E.L.D. doing this too, right? Like helping? I warned everyone on this list, but... Let's just see how many compromised names you weren't able to... Wait, I recognize that number. Who is it? Oh. James. <laughs> He's still a thing. Hi. Appreciate the help, Simmons, but I can take it from here. On my own. You can't have it both ways, Daisy. You can't push us away and then come crawling back half dead only when you feel like it. It isn't fair. That's true. Team up. Oh. Boss Simmons, it's a miracle. I love it. I think he can like possess the car and make it hit you in there. It's contained a lot more dangerous people than you. Is that a dare? I've heard rumors from your part of the world about a man with a flaming skull. Always seemed like an urban legend to me. You've managed to escape capture all this time. And we nab you in a parking lot. Well, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> One really bad habit of killing people. Only those who have it coming. From what I can tell, that seems to be true, which makes you a little more interesting. You're not an inhuman, are you? Why do you guys keep asking me that? Then where does your power come from? I made a deal with the devil. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right. <laughs> but he did. Got to get Mulder and Scully, not the uh, no shield. Well, no, never mind. They, they still did mostly shield stuff. You gotta get Sam and Dean. You said Daisy trusted. Yeah, maybe. Huh. But why? Why? What are you thinking? 
Daisy trust him, let, let him out. Kind of smart. He only kills bad people, so you're pretty safe. Unless he looks into your soul and sees you how you killed uh, Grant Ward. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. That was one time. This is where James works. Let me guess. It's a bar. Fireworks. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that is not safe. This bomb's for you. We'll take five. Excellent choice. <laughs> oh, what a salesman. Fireworks, really. With your powers. Sean over there, long time smoker, 30 years. He gave up last summer. He keeps a single cigarette on his desk. It's a constant reminder of what he doesn't want to be. It's kind of like that. That makes sense. The recent watchdog attacks, they're finding their targets by hacking into asset comms devices. They can track your location. So you think they're after me? It's only a matter of time. Well, well, that works. Yo, she needs to put her gauntlets back on or something. I'm just trying to live a quiet, normal life. You don't understand. That can't happen anymore. The watchdogs won't let you. They're coming to take that life. What's it worth, anyway? Hmm? I go from my rubbish job to my rubbish apartment. I got no family. No reason to. It's <laughs> a cool lighter. <laughs> or you can take a stand with me. Fight the watchdogs? Fight back. That's how you move on. He didn't want that constant reminder, but yeah. That would be cool to see. I need Robbie to witness James fight with flaming chains and then get inspired. And then that's how Robbie starts fighting with flaming chains. But maybe this version of Ghost Rider doesn't do that much. I don't know. I feel like all of them do, but I know nothing. So I've got some stuff to finish up, but um, meet me after closing at the public storage place next door. Pod 212, second floor. I got something that might help. Okay. What if James works with the watchdogs? Prove you're not the demon mm -hmm. the story say you are. You saved a friend of mine from a guy my bolts went straight through. You're the only one we know that can hurt those things. And if I say no? Well, then we open another door for you. <laughs> we'll land first. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna have to keep you just a wee bit longer for further testing. Just to track your improvements before we release you. It's a go pee. Excuse me? Agent May says you can shove all your tests up your ass. Oh, that's not very nice. Wow, she knows. <laughs> well, most of me is Chinese. Canadian. She's a co she's Canadian. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe you gotta yeah, get May out of here. Population there. Although, uh, she did move around a lot as a kid because she's an unarmed brat. She's gonna be like, lying? What is this? You've been hiding Ada from me. She's not onto them. It's too bad. I like her. No nonsense, just business. So <laughs> impressive. Yeah. <laughs> May likes people that are robots, cause May's secretly a robot. Nah, she acts like one. Sometimes. <laughs> Who is she? Dr. Lucy Bauer. Joseph's wife. We put him into a coma. She's very into? ugly now. Madness. They were the project leaders at this privately funded think tank. Momentum Labs. Yeah. Next level R&D. Quantum particle generator. It was a... It's a machine that can create matter. Particle it's generator. Be nothing at all. Yeah, that sounds... Oh. Impossible. Yeah, it's insane. This accident must be how she got her powers. Find out where she'd go. What is she after? What is she after? <sighs> She's gonna go after the book. Book? What book? I don't know what it's called. They say it gave him the knowledge to build a machine. I don't want you. The dark hold. Coulson. We gotta move. We got a situation with an asset. There's a lot happening. Jeez. At least we're getting answers about Momentum Labs. Oh. Uh. Can you not? I gotta go to sleep after this. Doug, Joseph, I need you. Wake up, please. Wake up. Not the voice, please. People gotta unplug these guys. I'm surprised the blackout didn't do it. I held up my end of the deal, all right? Either we go and get after it, or I take my car and I do it myself. That's not how things work here. We need to make a detour. 
We could use your help if you're still interested in our arrangement. That depends on you. Why did Fitz lie to Agent May about where I'm I knew she'd ask you about that. We're still in the testing phase, Ada. The it's called. To pass for human, you must always act accordingly. Uh huh. That's scary. But you're programming not to lie. It's one of my tenets, along with not harming humans and being able well, to. Well, lies themselves are not always inherently bad. Those are good tenets to follow. Yo, this is so lies of P right now. Oh my gosh. This is freaky. She's gonna break those tenets. Okay to lie to shield people from certain truths. Oh no. <laughs> or to save a life. Whose life was fit saving when he lied? Why yours. Oh no. <laughs> that is so freaky. This is gonna go so bad. Quake and the amazing bomb boy. Amazing bomb boy. Explosives? What is wrong with you? This is not the solution to anything. The watchdogs are killing people. Violence, retaliation, that is all they understand. Dang. Oh, I knew it. He was taking way too long to open that. There was something. Easy. James on their side. Uh, the watchdogs aren't my enemy. I called it. Yo. Yo. How could you do this to us? How could you do this to me? You're the one that turned me into this freak of nature. You were obsessed with going through Terra Genesis. Yeah, he was. Oh my gosh, dude, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Of course, James, dude, it was so suspicious though. He was taking forever to open that. And he didn't seem concerned at all when they said that they were hunting him down. The watchdogs working with an inhuman, that's, that's nuts. And wow. Yourself that much. I don't hate myself. I hate all of us. James, what the heck? Oh. Nice, nice, nice. What's he got? This is gonna be fun. I, I didn't see what he picked up. They had to have heard that. They're gonna be checking all these, right? No? Do another move like that and you're likely to break every bone in your arms. Yeah, I might have done that already. Uh. Perfect night for a little mayhem. Wouldn't you say? Quake? Oh no. He's just making bombs. Those are baby explosions. That's not the same one. But it sure as hell will feel good. Or is it? It was. Icer him. Icer him. Icer. Oh, that chain is perfectly in view. He's totally. He is grabbing it. <laughs> of course. Oh no. Icer. I'm on fire. Shut up. Oh. <gasps> Wait. Every, my, my dreams coming true, my visions. My visions of this episode. You think you are, but you just made a big mistake. I don't even know how he got here, but... Without the accent. This is the person that was causing mayhem. Oh, they cut away at the perfect time of... They have someone causing mayhem somewhere. So I thought it was the ghost they were going after. It was him. Wow. Look at these two dudes. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you don't know what's coming, James. It's time to pay for your sins. <laughs> oh boy. Deserved. And the chain. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh no, show it. Not smart to fire a gun in here. Shotgun X. Yeah, it really isn't. We came to find James. We thought he may be targeted by the watchdogs, but. We? Get the band back together. That's exactly why we're here. His GPS signal went out, so we came to his last recorded location and found it overrun with these guys. Oh, them seeing each other. Come on. She's like your daughter. <laughs> Dang. His hand's powerful. It's a good thing we brought Robbie Reyes. Fight fire with fire. It's a saying, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, right next to a firework place. Which is a little dangerous. Wow. Is he gonna blow up the whole thing? Oh, get out of this firework facility. Oh, this is so bad. I didn't realize the shipment place was above. Yeah, had to see that coming. <laughs> this would be such a massive explosion. I don't think people understand. Have you guys seen the firework? F oh, I guess that was a firework factory. This is just a firework store. There was a firework factory that exploded one time. It looked like a nuclear bomb, dude. It was like just 2020 or something. Yeah, that's still pretty big. Jeez. Robbie's fine. He heals. James. Bye bye. Those two watchdogs, guys. Sorry. They gone. Oh, the chain. So cool. You said alive, right? Oh. He's alive after all that? I guess. He's probably combustion proof. Thanks, Robbie. Say anything else? Nothing else to say. I'm just glad you're safe. <laughs> The watchdogs are... The watchdogs took a hit. They continue <clears throat> to be a threat, but we have to put them on the back burner for now. They're not going to stop just because we... We have a more pressing me. threat in our hands. Sorry, but for me, nothing is more pressing than... Look, I know you two like to work alone, settling scores that are personal to you, but that's not how we work here at S.H.I.E.L.D. Did they find the book? Is that the book my uncle <gasps> talking about? I think so. Yeah. You know where to find it? No one ever has. Not Daniel Whitehall, not the Red Skull, not even Nick Fury himself. They were all looking for it? It's called The Darkhold. It's been referred to as a book of sins, a book of spells, infinite knowledge. We'll probably see a lot more of that in uh, Agatha, Coven of Chaos, coming this year. Or whatever they're calling it, I don't know. But it'll probably look a little different than that, because it looks different in the MCU, even though this is the MCU. Maybe it just looks different to each person that sees it. Who knows? They could literally make this canon, and if this is the only difference, just say, it looks different to whoever sees it. Boom. Each year it changes, it shapeshifts. I don't know. Joseph Bauer, the man Robbie's uncle said was at the center of all this. He's been in a coma all these years. Mm hmm. Well, he just woke up. Yep. From the ghost touch. Need a lift? Where's here? Desperate. Gemma and Colson. It's good to see you back in fighting form. <sighs> Dying takes a lot out of you. I've heard. You There's know. so many people. Fritz is freaking out in the background. Thank you for your help. It was my pleasure, Agent May. I don't think we met Phil Coulson. Agent Coulson, I'm Ada. My assistant. It's gonna go well. Is she gonna like lie too much now? How long have you been lending a hand to our friend Dr. Radcliffe? Since he gave me hands. Whoa, that's oh. not a good one. Wow, impeccable work. I'm a fellow amputee. What happened, if you don't mind me asking? That's funny. Oh. Not at all. I've actually been this way since birth. Now I see why you've been spending so much time here. What? <laughs> Ada, she's beautiful. Is she? Oh yeah, she's all right, I guess. I prefer classical beauty myself. She's so real. Her, her conversational response is a range of motion. Wait, she knows? Those are weird things to say about a person. Yeah. Yes, she's an android. <laughs> but obviously you can't tell the new director. <laughs> what with your lie detector test becoming more frequent? Who knows the next time they're gonna call you in and then- Tomorrow. Oh tomorrow. boy. Just one lie you're gonna have to tell. She's never been good at this. <laughs> She's never been good at lying. Actually, I'll have a few. I'm glad she was able to... Yeah, she's gonna have a few. I'm glad she was able to tell, and now people are catching on. Or well, at least just Gemma, I guess. Wow. <laughs> I love the way that conversation spiraled from Gemma until Fitz was like, that's a weird thing to say about a human. Uh, that was good. That was a good reveal. That she actually knew because it was like that same thing that happened earlier in the episode where may was saying something about ada <clears throat> you're like no she doesn't actually know they're just trying to build suspense or whatever i'm glad everyone's working together now we got ghost rider working with shield we got quake working with shield more ada robot weirdness which i'm really loving i feel like the, the seasons always feel like they're divided into halves right like one half covers one thing and then the other half spirals out of control into another thing at least like season two really felt like that season three kind of feels like that 
because the second half of the season you have Hive as the big threat the entire time. Season one, of course, feels semi like that as well. Second half being just like kind of, yeah, from episode like 14 or whatever, like whatever the Tahiti episode is. So all the seasons feel that way, like they're in halves. I feel like this one is going to have a lot of supernatural weird stuff happening with ghosts and the dark hold in the first half. In the second half, we can delve more into the android robot stuff. I hope I'm right about that. It just feels like the supernatural stuff is happening way faster than the robot stuff is developing. But by the second half, it'll be full robo mode, maybe. Either way, that is my favorite part of this season by far. Because I could just imagine where it can go and how it can go wrong. So I hope it's not just a side thing, but it's a main thing that's going to stick for a bit. Because, I mean, Ada is only the first of, of this kind, so it can get real scary. Anyways, we got James in captivity as well, since he's apparently still alive. So I don't know if he's going to give out some watchdog secrets or what. But I don't think he'll be a threat going forward at all. I can't really see the watchdogs coming in and rescuing James and him being a big villain. I just can't really see that. I'm glad he was there to give inspiration to Ghost Rider for his chain as well. That was cool. With the Darkhold being introduced... That is scary. That is really scary. Because, I mean, we've seen what, like, the Scarlet Witch can do with that thing. You can end worlds with it, basically. Darkhold is very powerful, and S.H.I.E.L.D. getting a hold of it eventually, maybe? I don't like that. I don't like anyone getting a hold of it. But I'm sure whoever touches it first is going to get, like, possessed or something. That's what I feel like someone's gonna touch the book accidentally read a page or something and just get full-on possessed but I am interested in it I've always been interested in the dark hold because they like show it and say it's the most powerful book in WandaVision or whatever they show it in Multiverse of Madness Wanda reads it but we don't know much about it I hope we figure out its history its lore here we probably will in the Agatha show coming soon but uh yeah it's a mystery it's it's a weird one it's a weird book so with the ghost plot going forward we know about the lab, I already forgot the name of it, magical lab, I don't know. They're creating matter out of thin air, but what, was he saying they were doing that with the dark hold? So they're mixing science and magic together and creating a device that can generate matter out of thin air, like Adam Eve from Invincible, except whatever they create, wouldn't it be in that capsule? So it'd have to be small enough to be in there and then they have to get it out the door. So they can't generate like buildings or anything crazy with it, but generating anything out of thin air is pretty nuts. So either way, very impressive. And it all went wrong and then boom, ghosts, they died. And then also from that, a disease happens, something that the ghosts can like whisper to you or touch you or whatever and slowly get scared to death. And all this just connects back to the dark hold basically. And the only one that can kill the ghosts is Ghost Rider, so he has to join the team. And Daisy is with him, so she's got to join, and she cares about Inhumans. I just love the way everything connects here. And it brings the team back together, even though they're not officially part of the team. But yeah, I'm excited for the hunt for the Darkhold. No one could find it, so I wonder where it would be. Well, I guess the guy that's waking up from the coma, they just got to follow him. He probably knows where it's at. Since he had access to it, I'm hoping it's not just like in his house. He just goes home and like gets it from under his bed or whatever. I'm hoping it's in this like insane location, like in the mid season of season two, they have to go to like that port of Costa Rica or whatever and go down into the tunnel to the big Cree area. Mac gets possessed, all that stuff. I'm hoping it's an area like that. I think that would be really cool, but I doubt it would be anywhere since it's already been uncovered. These people from the lab already had access to it at one point. They probably just hid it in some random building or something. But a quest like that would be pretty sick to see. Also, I'm really enjoying, I just gotta say, these past few episodes, I'm really enjoying Coulson on the front lines fighting, especially seeing the power that he holds in his hand. I'm enjoying that a lot, but I do miss him being the boss, the director. Also, another thing from Coulson that I really enjoyed this episode Instantly when Max said that Daisy trusted Robbie, I love that he actually just like respects her so much at this point that he went and just unlocked him from the uh, cage. I really like that scene. I just feel like that shows Coulson's character. But yeah, I think that's about all I'm, I got to cover here. Hope I didn't miss anything. There's a lot happening, so <laughs> I can easily forget to discuss some things at the end. 
but I usually pause during the episode and talk a lot anyways. So that is it for this one. Definitely leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Hit the join button down below if you want to become a member and watch the next two episodes early. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers in 2024. I hope we can actually hit that. So it would mean a lot to me if you helped out with that goal. And leave a comment down below your thoughts on the episode. That's about it. I will see you guys in the next one very, very soon.